out for my Sunday stroll in crop walking and this is the field of spring barley that was drilled on about the 5th of March. You can just about see it coming up in rows. Uh, very dry here. I wish that uh, the seabed was a little bit finer, it's a tad lumpy and uh, what with the drying conditions it's led to somewhat variable germination. It's not that we haven't got a crop there, it's just with the with the drying conditions we haven't got a Vardastat like even emergence. I think everything will come in the end but and it's all there, it's just a uh, uneven seabed and as a result an uneven germination rate. It's something that uh, direct drillers suffer from certainly. It doesn't give you the beautiful stand, an even stand that you're used to in a cultivated system, but uh, it doesn't seem to impinge on yield. However, we use these dry conditions to our advantage. We manage to get compost delivered directly to the field and even managed to spread around 500 tonnes a day. Running at 24 metres, there is very little soil and crop damage, even spreading into young winter wheat crops. Morning everybody. So a little demonstration as far as the compost spreading is going. As you can see, this is the spring wheat. It's coming up, you can see the rows, and you can see this, the empty patches, either side there going up to the tractor so there's a tram lines already in and from this tram line there's one flag one side and the one flag the other now as you can see over here we've already come down the tram line over there you can see the slightly darker marks and on the ground here's a flag you can see there's already plenty of compost this side of the flag so a bit like a standard um, fertilizer spinner you're getting a degree of overlap on either side so hopefully what we will see is that we will see the muck coming the compost coming past this flag um, now i was going to do this with my drone but my drone's not working so we'll just get to watch it in in uh, practice will mean that I have to hope that I don't get whacked by a big stone flying out of there. So, beaters are on. There you go, you can see, it, see it coming out. And actually, if you turn the line, the line is getting, it's getting it's spreading up to about there. You can see it landing. So it's spreading well past 12 metres. In fact, it's almost hitting the other tram line on the other side. Okay, so this, here we have the flag, this side was spread from that way, and this side was spread from that side. As you can see, very little uh, difference in spread pattern, it's quite a lot, it's quite thick. Just uh, spread it out the way in order that you can, these are my little wheats here, these are my little wheats. So it's quite significant, if you look at that side versus this side, 20 tonnes a hectare. I've just gone down to the other flag, as you can see behind me, this is, uh, this is on the left hand side of the spreader. So beyond this flag hasn't been spread yet. The spread direction was this way. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of compost beyond the flag. So let's step it out. One. I would say it drops significantly at about six to eight meters past the 12 meter midpoint of the tram. Here's an example of the spreader using its headland deflector plate. 
to stop compost spreading wider than 12 meters on the headland. Hey everybody, the long awaited rain has arrived, so that's good to see. I just wanted to point out this field behind me. This is the field of uh, Lennox spring wheat that we put the very thick cover of vetch. And as you can see behind me, I stopped here because this is black grass. So we call this the hospital block. It's near State Mandible Hospital. And I'll just turn this around and show you. So as you can see, we've clearly got the lines of established Lennox coming up. Quite pleased with this. Now, we have had in the past problems with glyphosate kill out the way uh, with glyphosate kill on black grass in the spring. So now we make sure we use a Roundup Flex, a branded product, to really get hold of it. You can get real problems with establishing wheat through black grass, but here it seems to have done really well, so fingers crossed. This is the field next door with, that, that was grazed by sheep and had less uh, residue on the top. And I just wanted to show you this to say the eye catches the cover crop. The establishment rate is roughly the same between the two fields, but this one's noticeably greener to the eye.